Hey, I'm Jimmy Oyang, and I play Josh Lin. Hi, my name is Darren Barnett, and I play Tag. Hi, I'm Nina Dobra, and I play Natalie in Love Hard. And we're about to play BuzzFeed's Which Holiday Couple Are You? And the first question is, first things first, what is your love language? Mm. Do you guys know the love languages? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have heard of them and I definitely know mine. So it's words of affirmation, yeah. quality, time, physical touch, acts of service, gifts, something only you and your partner share. Is it a love language you like to receive or the love language you like to give? Usually whatever you like to receive, naturally we also do that. Mm, very nice, Nina. That's why you're in such a great relationship. Uh, mine is acts of service, that's me. I love to cook for people. I love to do this, do that. And I, I, I love it when other people do that for me. I'm yeah. the same actually, Jimmy. I am 100% physical touch. I, physical touch guy. I uh -huh. really like cuddling and holding hands and you know, all of that. I, uh, if I love true. someone, I, I'm hugging them all the time. Aww. All right, next question. Pick a controversial holiday movie to watch with your significant other. Die Hard, Mean Girl, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Carol, Frozen, or Edward Scissorhands? Wow, huh. You know, I, I think we talked about this. I thought Frozen was a Christmas movie. You guys said it's not. That might yeah. be the most controversial. I, I guess it is. I'm it's gonna just because go it happens in the snow. Don't don't mean that it's a Christmas movie. Well, that and Mean Girls because Mean Girls like there's the, there's a one scene where they're mm -hmm. in the Santa outfits. So some people say it's a Christmas movie, but it absolutely okay. not. I gotta be honest. I mean, just with these movies, I would watch Mean Girls. I it's it's a happy movie, puts me in a good mood. I'm gonna go with Mean Girls. I'm gonna second that. I did Frozen, you know, I'm just that type of dude. All right, next question is which holiday themed beverage are you sipping on by the open fire? Ooh. The options are peppermint hot cocoa, a hot toddy, mm. cranberry Moscow mule, a mulled wine, some eggnog, or some champagne. I've never had like a legit eggnog. I gotta just be basic and pick champagne because the fire's already hot. You want some like crisp. I'm going with a hot toddy. I had one for the first time last year and it was delightful. I'm with you on that one. I, I'm a big hot toddy girl, especially when you're in a cabin or on the mountain somewhere and you want to have a little spiked warm treat to warm you up from being outside in the cold. Yeah. Hot toddy for sure. Mm. Choose a holiday tune to sing during karaoke. Mm. Baby, it's cold outside, Natalie and Josh remix. Ooh. That's an instant classic. All I Want for Christmas by Mariah Carey. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays by NSYNC. Mm. Last Christmas by Wham. Let It Snow by Dean Martin. And it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas by Johnny Mathis. I love Last Christmas. I mean, that's my jam. But Natalie and Josh remix, baby, it's cold outside. We got, we have to go with that. I agree. We're I very can't. biased though. <laughs> as much as I love it, I can't deny Dean Martin. I love Dean Martin. Mm. I'm gonna go with Let It Snow. I ain't even mad at that. You know, yeah. taking second place, Dean Martin, I'm okay. The next question, pick a fun date night activity. Candle making class, just like what we do in the movie or what I do in the movie. Mini golf, paint and sip, an intimate dinner, a concert, a nice long walk. I'm gonna go with a nice long walk. There's just, Kind of no expectation. Um, you can kind of go where the wind takes you and there's great conversations to be had on a nice long walk. Depends what location you're at. If you're in the East Coast, that might be very cold. I agree with you, Darren. I like conversation, but I also like food and I love booze. I'm gonna have to go with the intimate dinner. Yeah, my go-to is definitely an intimate dinner, you know, even with us cooking together. But I think just something fun, I would pick paint and sip or candle making class. Um, you know what, actually for this movie, I learned how to make candles. Like it's very easy and it's very cool and nice. Uh, something cute, I, I would go with candle making class. Quick, your significant other is in the bathroom and you have time to check one app, which is it? Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Snapchat, or my fitness pal. Wow, this, this is scandalous, man. Why you gotta check when they're gone? I know, right? I'm, I'm thinking about that too. If they were in the room, you'd be engaged with them and talking. Oh, okay. You're not just checking DMs? I'd hope not. Okay, I gotta go with Instagram. 
I mean, that, that that's the one my finger yeah. goes to first. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I use. So, yeah. But if they have an option for like uh, my uh, Yahoo Fantasy football app, I'll, I'll do that. Last but not least, choose a quote from an iconic holiday movie. To me. No, I can't do it. Darren, you do it. Do the British accent. <laughs> to me, you are perfect. perfect. Love actually. Oh, great. okay. You, you sound like a, the Oscar presenter. You have a pretty face. You should be on a Christmas card. Elf. It's Christmas Eve, and we are going to go celebrate being young and being alive. The holiday. Just because you can't see something doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Santa Claus. Remember, George, no man is a failure who has friends. It's a wonderful life. yippee ki mother Die hard. I gotta say the It's a Wonderful Lifeline, just beautiful. The Santa Claus was one of my favorite movies growing up. It's a great message just because you can't see something doesn't mean it doesn't exist because you can't really see love, can you? That's really deep, Darren. My favorite quote has got to be, to me, you are perfect. It makes oh. me cry every single time he says that. Mm. I am myself. It's Natalie and Josh from Love Heart, baby. Oh my Shut God, up. I got the same one. I got Jack and Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas. That's yes! hilarious. That's, so, That's so funny. It says, to you, love doesn't always have to be bright lights and fireworks. Sometimes a tender, budding friendship is the best way for any love to blossom. I'll Aww. get behind that. You got Natalie and Josh. To you, the true meaning of love isn't someone with the perfect dating profile, but it's that special someone who makes you feel perfect despite your imperfections. Oh, that's very nice. I don't know if I want Tim Burton directing my love story, but I'll take it. Thank you, BuzzFeed. Thank you for playing with us. And I hope you love the holiday couple that you got. And catch us, all of us, on Netflix's Love Heart.